Hey everyone, how's it going? For today's fun video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a back to school surprise fold. So hope you follow along and enjoy this video today. Now to start off with our back to school surprise fold, let's begin by folding our paper. I'm going to start by lining up the corners and making a nice fold in my paper. That way it kind of looks like a birthday card when you open it up. Next, I'm going to fold it in half one more time, line up the corners, and giving it another nice fold. And this way it kind of looks like a bookmark. Now when I open it up, I have these nice little guidelines that show me where to keep the inside of my drawing. And I like to turn my paper this way so I can open it up for a fun surprise. Now to start off with this, let's begin with the eyes. So I'm going to begin right here and I'm just going to make a circle for an eye. Then I want to leave some space and I'll make another circle for an eye right over here. Now for the pupils, let's draw a circle inside each one. And then I'm going to color this in and I'm just going to leave a little bit white just towards the top. That way it looks like a little reflection in our pupil. Now for the nose. To draw the nose, I'm just going to make a line that's just gonna come down here. And then I'm gonna put a little curve on it, just like that. Now, I wanna start with the ears. I'm gonna begin right here, and I'm gonna make a little half a circle shape like this. And then I'll make a little half circle shape right over here. Next, I'll put a little squiggle inside each one just for a little bit of detail. Then underneath the ear, let's draw a line that goes right down to the fold. Now for the top of the head, let's just draw a line that's going to come up here and then a line that's going to come up here. And then let's make the hair. Let's just make some little zigzag lines that go right across here. Now, starting here, let's make a line that's going to come up and then a line that's going to come up right here. Next, let's make some little kind of curved lines that just come right across here. Then right here, I'm going to make an eyebrow, and I'm gonna make another eyebrow right here. Just kind of color those in. Next, starting right here, let's draw a line that's just going to kind of come down and then back up for the chin. And then I'm gonna make a little line here. This is gonna look like the mouth, but when we open this up, it's actually gonna turn into part of the chin. Now I'm just going to put a couple little freckles on here for a little bit of detail. So let's put like three dots underneath each eye. Then I'm going to draw a line that comes down here and a line that comes down here for the neck. Next I'm going to draw a line that's going to come out and then down. And then same thing here. We're going to go out and then down for the shoulders. Well, let's make it look like he's wearing a tank top. So let's draw a line that's just going to go down and up here. And then a line that's just going to come down here and down here. So now this is our basic shape of our character. Now I just did a boy, but if you want to do a girl, you could always kind of like smooth out the top of the hair. You could always make it kind of bumpy and wavy, or you could even add something like a ponytail or pigtails or something like that. Now let's make a little bit of the background. So I wanna make it look like he's at the beach. So I'm going to begin by just making a wavy line right here to his shoulder. Then I'm gonna make another wavy line to here. Next, I'm gonna make kind of like a little bit more of a wavy line right to his neck. And then we're gonna jump over here so it kind of looks like the water.
Then in the background here, let's put a little boat. So I'm just gonna make a little smiley face shape. Let's draw a line across. Then let's make a line that's gonna come up. Then we'll make a line that goes down and over, and then down and over for like a little boat in the background. Then I'm gonna put some little dots kind of all around here just to give it a little bit of detail for the sand. So we're just gonna put all these little dots in here. And then right up here, let's go ahead and make a circle for the sun. So we have a nice bright sun on this beach day. Now our next step is to open this up and draw the inside. Now once we open this up, we have two halves of our surprise fold. We have the top half and the bottom. So the first thing I wanna do is I'm going to begin by bringing this line down and I'm gonna bring this line down. Then I wanna bring this line up and this line up. Now, we want this to kind of be like a back to school surprise fold. So we want to kind of make it look like school's gonna be popping out of here. So what we wanna do is let's start with the mouth. So I'm gonna begin here and I'm just going to draw a line. So it's gonna curve up, it's gonna go over and then down. And I'm keeping this underneath the fold. Then kind of starting down here, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go down, but this time we're gonna kind of come up, down, and then back up like this. Now let's make the teeth. I'm just gonna make some little curvy lines right across here, just like a bunch of little smiley faces. And then down here, let's make a bunch of sad faces for the bottom teeth. Now let's make his tongue coming out. I'm gonna begin by drawing a line that's gonna curve up. We're gonna bring this around and then back to here. And then right here, let's just draw a little line that curves down for the tongue. Now, right in here, I want to write the word school. So to do this, let's just begin by making a big letter S. I'm gonna make a line down here and a line down here. And then I'm gonna make a smaller letter S. Next, I'm gonna make a letter C that's gonna kinda of be behind the S. We're gonna make a line down and a line up. And then we're gonna curve this line into here. Next, I'm gonna draw a line that comes down. I'm gonna go over and down, and then over and up. This time I'll go over and up, and then over and down. Next we'll go over and over, and then connect it. Then I'm gonna make a circle, or oval shape I should say, with a smaller one inside. Then I'm gonna make another one kind of hiding behind here. And then for the L, let's just draw an L shape. We'll make a line that comes over and down. And then we're gonna go over and then down. And you can do it this way or you could do another way, however you wanna do it. Now, let's add a couple school things around here. So right here, let's make a pencil. So I'm gonna begin by making two lines that come down. Then we're gonna put a little point at the end. We'll make a little zigzag line here. And then we'll color in the bottom. We'll connect this line here. And then we'll make a little square on top. And then a couple little lines here for the eraser and the metal part. Over here, let's make a crayon. So I'm gonna begin by drawing two lines like this. Then I'm gonna connect both of them. We'll make a little skinny rectangle on top. 
Then we'll color a line here and we'll color a line right here. And then we're gonna color in a little oval shape here. Now let's put a book up here. So to make our book, I'm going to begin by making this little kind of like upside down C shape. We're gonna make two lines that kind of come down at an angle and then connect with a curve. We're gonna make a line that comes over, down, and then back over. Then we're gonna come over and down. And then over and then down again to make our little book. And then over here, let's make an apple. Let's begin by making a line that's just going to curve down like this. And then one that's going to curve down with a couple little bumps at the bottom. Let's draw a little line for the stem. And then a little oval shape with a line on it for a leaf. Now, finally, the last thing we want to do is let's put the big kind of zigzag line kind of explosion look around here. So let's begin by just kind of making a bunch of these kind of pointed lines all over. And we're going to make them kind of go behind all of our shapes here. So we're just going to make these kind of come out all over the place. And we go right to the tongue. Then we're just going to make these kind of come all the way around and then go right to here. Then the last step is just to make sure all these lines are connected. So we'll just kind of bring all these little lines either up or down to connect them. And there you go. When we have this all closed up, we have a kid just enjoying his summer at the beach. And then when we open it, he realizes that school is starting and he is not happy. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.